Hey guys, you just got to check this out with me. This is called The Voice Bible, John chapter 1. This translation has gone onto the radar. It is really epic and it's really going to bless your life and blow you up in the glory. Check this out. Wait till we get to verse 4. You're just going to fry your circuitry and just get overloaded with Jesus Christ. <laughs> Before time itself was measured, the voice was speaking. The voice was and is God. This celestial word remained ever present with the Creator. His speech shaped the entire cosmos, immersed in the practice of creating. All things that exist were birthed in Him. Ready? His breath filled all things with a living, breathing light. A light that thrives in the depths of darkness, blazes through the murky bottoms. It cannot and will not be quenched. A man named John was sent by God, was the first to clearly articulate the source of this light. This baptizer put in plain words the elusive mystery of the divine light, so all might believe through him. Some wondered whether he might be the light, but John was not the light. He merely pointed to the light, the true light who shines upon the heart of everyone was coming into the cosmos. He entered our world, a world he made, yet the world did not recognize him, even though he came to his own people. They refused to listen and receive Him. But for all who did receive and trust in Him, He gave them the right to be reborn as children of God. He bestowed his, this birthright not by human power or initiative, but by God's will. The voice took on flesh and became human and chose to live alongside us. We have seen him enveloped in undeniable splendor, the one true Son of the Father, evidenced in the perfect balance of grace and truth. John the, Bapti John the Baptist testified about him and shouted, This is the one I've been telling you is coming. He is much greater than I am because he existed long before me. Through this man, we all receive gifts of grace beyond our imagination. You see, Moses gave us rules to live by, but Jesus the Anointed offered us gifts of grace and truth. God, unseen until now, is revealed in the voice. God's only Son, straight from the Father's heart. The reputation of John was growing and Many had questions, including Jewish religious leaders from Jerusalem. So some priests and Levites approached John in Bethany, just beyond the Jordan River while he was baptizing, and bar bombarded him with questions. Religious leaders, who are you? John the Baptist. Your words sound familiar, like a prophet's. <laughs> Is that how we should address you? Are you the prophet Elijah? John the Baptist. No, I am not Elijah. The religious leaders said, Are you the prophet Moses told us would come? John the Baptist said, No. The religious leaders, Then tell us who you are and what you are about because everyone is asking us, especially the Pharisees, and we must prepare an answer. John replied with the words of Isaiah the prophet, Listen, I am a voice calling out in the wilderness, straighten out the road for the Lord. He is on his way. Then some of those sent by the Pharisees questioned him again. Here's the religious leaders. How can you travel the countryside baptizing people if you are not the anointed one or Elijah the prophet? John the Baptist, realizing 
with baptizing with water is what I do. But the one who of that's hard to read this. But the one whom I speak of, whom we will all await, is standing among you, and you have no idea who he is, though he comes after me. I'm not even worthy to unlace his sandals. The morning after this conversation, John sees Jesus coming toward him. In eager astonishment, he shouts out, "Look! This man is more than he seems. He is the Lamb sent from God, the sacrifice to erase the sins of the world." He is the one I've been saying will come after me, who existed long before me and is much greater than I am. No one recognized him, myself included. I came baptizing with water so that he might be revealed to Israel. As I watched, the Spirit came down like a dove from heaven and rested on him. I didn't recognize him at first, but the one who sent me to baptize told me. The one who will baptize with the Holy Spirit will be the person you see the Spirit come down and rest upon. I have seen this with my own eyes, and I can attest that this one is the Son of God. The day after, John saw him again, as he was visiting with two of his disciples. As Jesus walked by, he announced again. John the Baptist. Do you see him? This is the man, the Lamb of God, God's sacrifice to cleanse our sins. At that moment, the two disciples began to follow Jesus, who turned back to them, saying, "Jesus, what do you want?" Two disciples. We'd like to know where you are staying, teacher. May we remain at your side today, Jesus. Come and see. Follow me, and we will camp together. It was about four o'clock in the afternoon when they met Jesus. They came and saw where he was staying, but they got more than they imagined. They remained with him the rest of the day and followed him for the rest of their lives.、Hmm. One of these new disciples, Andrew, rushed to find his brother Simon and to tell him. That they had found the one who was promised, God's anointed, who will heal the world. As Andrew approached with Simon, Jesus looked at him. Jesus, your name is Simon, and your father is called John. But from this day forward, you will be known as Peter the Rock. The next, G- the next day, Jesus set out to go into Galilee, and when he came upon Philip, he invited him to join him. Jesus, follow me. Philip, like Andrew and Peter, came from a town called Bethsaida, and he decided to make the journey with him. Philip found Nathaniel, a friend, and burst in with excitement. Philip, we have found the one Moses wrote about. Moses wrote about him in the law. All the prophets spoke of the, the day when he would come, and now he is here. His name is Jesus, son of Joseph the carpenter, and he comes from Nazareth. Nathaniel, how can anything good come from a place like Nazareth? <laughs> Philip, come with me, and you will see for yourself. As Philip and Nathaniel approached Jesus, saw Nathaniel. And spoke to those standing around him, Jesus, look closely, and you will see an Israelite who is a truth teller. Nathaniel, overhearing Jesus, how would you know this about me? We have never met. Jesus, I've been wait. I've been watching you before Philip invited you here. Earlier in the day, you were enjoying the shade and fruit of the fig tree. I saw you then, Nathaniel. Teacher, you are the one, God's own son and Israel's king. Jesus, Nathaniel, if all it takes for you to believe is my 
telling you I saw you under the fig tree, then what you will see later will astound you. I tell you the truth. Before our journey is complete, you will see the heavens standing open while heavenly messengers ascend and descend, swirling around the Son of Man. <laughs> and that was chapter one from the Voice Bible. And uh, there's a lot of glory on that. Let's just read verse four again. His breath filled all things with a living, breathing light. A light that thrives in the depths of darkness, blazes through murky bottoms. It cannot and will not be quenched. That's verse four and five of the Voice Bible. Man. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. See you later.